Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Rodamon Plays Stationer's Venus, which originally aired live on Twitch. This is episode 14, and let's get going. Um... Well, got some plumbing problems. It's, uh, it's lowering now. We survived the day. We survived the day. We didn't implode. We didn't implode. Ha 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 ha. Says the madman who barely escaped with his life. So my extreme situation, solution of just letting the CO2 fart out fart. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the beautiful things about this game, right? Is like, there are some crazy, crazy solutions that you can come up with to just not die. Like, just gassing, out gassing all of your ballast tanks, basic, you know, as if I'm a submarine, right? That's how it felt. And yes, jank. I know. So much jank. Don't worry. I'm aware of the jank. Just gotta be like this. Because then we have room for the water. Let's have the water go up at this point. Now the pipes are going to be in the walls, which is a little weird, and I'm having trouble. There we go. Getting them placed. Oh, speaking of water, I'm uh, dehydrating. Uh, imagine how nightmare this might nightmarish this would be in multiplayer. It's nightmarish, yeah. If they don't know, it, if you, if your teammates don't know what you're, they're doing, um, KMA. Goodbye. K Y A. Goodbye. I should say. Right. If if I'm your teammate, I'm at least trying to help you. But there's definitely a lot of people that like don't know what they're. They won't know what they're doing, and they're just going to be a hindrance. Nope, that's the last of my pipes. Yeah, it will be quite, quite clowny. This is not one of those games that you can learn on the fly either. It's not like, oh, oh, you know, I'll make mistakes and uh, it's like, no, no, no. If you, if you don't get what's going on, like if you don't understand the game mechanics, you're just dead. Yep, so this is water in it. Awesome. Uh, now, oh, we are so close to farming. Look at the clock. Grr, look at the clock. Why clock? Why hath you cursed me? So let's uh, let's have the plants uh, with a raised basin like this here, like that. No, maybe I should over one like this. Just take as much room as I can. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. The two more. Composite walls can stand up to 300 kPa, but I have double windows, 
I don't know what the double windows do. All right, so there's water in here. There is nice atmosphere, a little warm, but nice atmosphere. I have AC going, I could double AC. Let's uh, bring this air conditioner up for our single fern. Honestly, I totally relate to Mark Watney right now. Oh, wow. It really cooled down quick up here. I, also, this AC, the way it works is it pulls air out of the base, so I shouldn't keep it on very long. It's not a good way to AC because it, it uh, creates suction, which pulls uh, much needed uh, air out of the base right now. Uh, but uh, let's turn this on. And refill our nitrogen. Which then refills the base. Yep, okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, Alright, let's save again, because I am so panicked about putting down the first uh, fern. But I'm going to plant it. I'm going to plant it. I'm going to become a Venus farmer. So I don't see a reason why it wouldn't wouldn't thrive right now. Has unfavorable lighting. Yes, we did it. It's planted. You could see. Well, actually, you can't see it. It has unfavorable lighting because you know it's nighttime. But um, we're good. We have we have colonized. All right, so our nitrogen tanks, how big are these? Oh God, there's nothing. Yeah, we are we are sipping nitrogen from the atmosphere so slowly right now. Do I have a, uh, do I have CO2 in this? No, I don't, oh, but I should, because we kind of ran out of CO2. So let me do that, that's a good point. Um. There you go. Oh, that filter is dead. So does anyone, uh, should I try to make like uh, a canister of pure nitrogen or something to see if the trader will buy it? Because that might be a way to make like crazy good money. Doesn't always work, but it's a thought. My AC's on. Come on, battery, don't die. Yeah, I guess I'll go one more hour. I'm a, I'm crazy, but I'm doing it. So we are, um, we are putting nitrogen. Oh! <gasps> you see what I see? You see what I see? Hey, little guy. We have CO. We have O2. I didn't put that O2 there. I did not put that O2 there. I'm not leaking O2. In fact, just a reminder, we have 979 moles of O2 right now. As the system, once our pressure in this room gets up to uh, 110, we will start to siphon off that O2 passively. 
Now let me double check on everything. Now I can't stop. I know, I know. All right, let me uh, shut that off for now because that's a lot of... Well, no, let's just... Let's shove as much as these pipes can handle while it's uh, night out. Save, save, save. Well, I, I'm i still worried, though. I'm still worried, but I'll save. Huh. The, uh... I don't think the... Organics printer is a thing anymore. I could be wrong. I think they took it out. All right, so our KPA is climbing. So is our temperature because I'm using um, hot nitrogen. Uh-oh. Wait, where's my air conditioning? My air conditioner is up there. Uh, rocking. I might need to turn this on to keep this from overheating. But it will lower the KPA, so I have to like, it's a it's a tightrope walk here. And also, some of what this is sucking up is uh, oxygen, which I'm not thrilled about. Uh. Oh, excuse me? Oh, cool. So this is what it looks like when something explodes. I don't know what exploded, but here, this is uh, something blew up way big. Again, not sure what it was. I don't think it was a canister because I was I was checking those pretty regularly, but yeah, this is this is the explosive decompression that you want to avoid. Uh, but seeing that I have a bug, uh, bug report here in the bottom left, it might have also just been glitchy. I don't know. Let, let me check. I did just save. I did just save two minutes before. So let's see if I can't figure it out as a pre-mortem instead of a post-mortem. Usually you don't get to do pre-mortems. Uh, close that. I don't think it was this pipe here, but it could be. It actually could have been. I had, I had walked away for maybe long enough to have blown myself up. Yeah, no, I think it was this pipe. I think it was just me being sloppy and walking away for just a bit too long. So I won't do that this time. What's the uh, temperature range of ferns? Are, are they cooked? The O2 tank. Oh, God. Yeah, it's the O2 tank. Glitch is right. great oh man I killed myself oh all right now I know what to do I dark sold myself rip and nine two six perfect back down to normal lighting thanks glitch you are a genius and I am a suicidal maniac that blew himself up in the name of ferns. Okay, so I was right. I walked away from this and I felt like, nah, that couldn't have that couldn't have exploded at the rate it was going. But um But yeah, my my CO2 tanks definitely went kablooey. No doubt about that. Nah, I, I'm not I haven't forgotten about this intake, but I this is only at 30. I have wheel room. I have, I didn't, you know, I knew it wasn't like, that's the in, in, intake pipe. That's, that's something I need to worry about in like two minutes, not in like 10 seconds. 
But I kind of love that this game is just like, I feel like I, you know, I'm just constantly about to die and I find that endearing. I know that makes me sick, but it just is the way it is. Oh, what's in this thing? Hey, there's X in here? The hell? Look at the temperature of that inside. It's 17,000 degrees Celsius. I mean, that's obviously not true. But uh, mayhaps we empty this out because apparently the sun got stuck in this thing and I need to let the sun out. What the hell? Game. It's not 17,000 Celsius inside. Gotta love the gentle handling. The smash, smash. Oh, okay. So, all right. Now that's just atmospheric. Except for the X. There's X in there that shouldn't be, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. It's just the... I don't have a volume pump. Uh, to pull the X out. Well, that is climbing. It's just going really slow. If I wanted to pull the X out, I could probably turn this off. If I turn that off, there's going to be a huge buildup of, uh... Alright, let's turn this off now. Yep, got it. So if I want to get the X out of here... Yeah, there's zero moles of X now. Why are you glitchy? Oh, shush. I don't even know why it's bugged now. Because... I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Six more degrees and the fern dies. The fern dies at 50. Okay. It will tell me if it's... Actually, it's not even saying it's too hot. But, yeah, I should cool it down. So, the issue with the heat here is, um... Well, I have the cooler working now. The issue with the heat is I'm introducing so much new novel gas so quickly into the base, um, it's hard to cool it down in time. Because this nitrogen here is just... It's just hot, you know? It's, it's 102 nitrogen. Why don't I put more radiators into the uh, vacuum room? I could. But I don't think that's actually the issue. It's it's a good idea, but I don't think it's the issue because... Um, if I could stand here for a second. Right, let me just jetpack. It's fine. My jetpack doesn't have X in it anymore. I can't get to it. But I, I my guess is the air, the coolant in there is cool, not hot. I can't prove that because there's not enough pipe. But you know what? I can make pipe, right? Let's make pipe. So I can measure it. It's kind of a weird thing to do, but it'll work. There. It's negative 26 in here, so the coolant is still cool. I mean, it could be cooler, but it negative 26 is fine. Um, I could also drag the AC up top. So let's see what's going on with the fern. Yes. 
I guess the fern is less sensitive to heat. I know it's too hot up here, and I'm trying to work on that, but... Yeah! We're doing it! Space Farmer Rad. Alright, let's, uh, let's power this bad boy on with the big battery. I already had a big battery, but, uh, let's drag this up top. So the fern is really obviously important for oxygen. Um, but now that I have a fern, I can start to get, uh, potatoes. Potatoes are a very easy source of food because you can just throw them in a the microwave and make, um, french fries. Um, so potato is going to be the next thing I buy from this, uh, robot. I almost called him a bad name because he sells his stuff at such exorbitant prices. Robot. We'll go with robot. Is 80k... F uh, 80... Yeah. My, my pressure is enough to ward off the day pressure. Um, yes. Decidedly yes. Um, because we survived yesterday at like 78. Can you get seeds from the fern itself? Yes. When it is fully matured... I can harvest it for two seeds. So I can turn one fern into two, into three, into five, you know, one into two, two into four, four into eight, eight into 16, 32. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go beyond, like, you know, whatever can store be stored in this room. But, uh, yeah, now it's just about acquiring a variety of seeds. I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy that chicken egg for 40,000. Um, the other thing is, uh, okay, air conditioning. Let's keep this battery in. Because I, I, the other thing is to make sure I don't accidentally introduce any pollutants that would otherwise murder little fern buddy. Maybe I'll, no, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna make sure this stays batteried. Um, and then also try to figure out how to make money, right? I need to make some money. Yeah, I like how it's like, oh, in here? Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's 6,000 Celsius. It's really not. It's, it's really not 6,000 Celsius. Ah, oh, yes, look at this fern. You know what? I could also sell the ferns back to him. <laughs> Be like, thanks for your fern. I turned it into two. I turned it into four. Fern pulls X out, or at least it did. Yeah, I remember it used to. I don't know if it still does. So as our pressure is climbing, as will our temperature, which is not ideal, ideal, but... Um, oh, we're out of, uh, we're out of nitrogen. So we're actually not adding any air to the room anymore. And as you can see, as it's pulling... Actually, this shouldn't be doing anything at all. I'm just gonna turn that off until I hit pressure. But having that, like, micro O2 is awesome. Just knowing that we're heading in the right direction just feels good. And yeah, I am I am totally just babysitting this thing. I should just go downstairs and expect it to survive or whatever. Um, and, and try to figure out how to make some money. Alright, let me do that. So the thought is... Oh, God. Don't be groaning. Don't be groaning. Quit it. Uh, the thought is to try to sell pressurized cans of gas, because gas is kind of a renewable resource. Unfortunately, um, I don't have a lot of iron, and iron might be actually difficult for me to obtain because of the mining bugs that I have right now. This is off. Yeah, that's off. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it might be a little difficult for me to obtain iron. Um, but it still might be faster than, uh, than figuring out what else to sell him other than like, you know, trying to sell ferns back to him. Oh, but look at that fern, man. It is really grown. It likes it. It likes it here on Venus. I don't. I feel like I'm constantly in the state of death, but the fern likes it. I wonder what else would sell.
bet like marine armor would sell well. Prefer, pre uh, prepare more hydroponics first. Yeah, that's a good point. And that's going to be like the rest of my iron. I'll just I'll just use the rest of my iron. And then I don't I have a really well, I have a little bit of iron in this tool. Yeah, I have 27 in here. Zero. Oh no, there's 10 in here too. So I might be able to try the canister trick. We'll see. And water is transferred between these automatically. So I don't really need to, to worry about that. Uh, up here it's 43. Let's cool it up down. At the cost of losing some Atmo. Alright. Suit needs a battery. Uh, so, the... I think the trader tends to like to buy pure gas, so let me try to make pure gas. We'll have a can storage. Let me get the AC off now. Eh, now I'll leave it on. What's the pressure? At 86? Okay, that's fine. Uh, another water cooler up? Yeah, you're probably right. It's it's actually... It's only because I'm trying to get the base pressurized. Once the base is pressurized, one cooler is going to be enough. Um, if you can believe that. It's because... As I'm introducing new gases into the base, it is... Um, it is trying to, you know, it's putting outside gases that are hot in. And that's what's really creating the heat. All right, so here's the canister. And I'm going to try to sell this <clears throat> on a planet that's 97 or 93%. 93% uh, um, carbon dioxide, I will try, try to sell this robot carbon dioxide, because I'm ruthless. Okay, it's 38 now. Yoink. Take your battery. Hi, Fern. I like you. It's almost nighttime, too, so I can go out for more iron. Uh, but let's get the regulator. Pressure regulator. So this is an attempt to try to figure out how to make money to buy the rest of the seeds. Because obviously just having ferns doesn't get me very far. I'm still going to eventually die from starvation. So this project is just a, hey, can I dupe this, uh, this stupid robot into buying some gas for me? And I don't know the answer. Now, I bet it might want to buy my oxygen, but I'm not willing to sell the oxygen. Um, <clears throat> so I'm hoping it's it's happy to buy, like, cans of uh, carbon dioxide, because that's most plentiful. And then if not carbon dioxide, you know, maybe, maybe nitrogen. Now that the... What's the ambient temperature? Okay, now that it's cooled down, I will start to pull nitrogen. And just to confirm, yeah, here's the carbon dioxide filter, so we're not going to blow up. I will keep an eye on it, though. I've learned my very, very explosive lesson. 
so the pressure regulator here is going to allow me to pressurize this um once plugged in gonna allow me to pressurize the can to a certain degree and uh try to sell that gas to the trader Sometimes they buy it, sometimes they don't. Right. I also have to keep an eye on this CO2 buildup, which it's not anywhere close yet. So the pressure here will be, let's do 9900 KPA. Turn it on. And then this can here is going to be pressurized to 9900 KPA of pure carbon dioxide. Hopefully getting uh, Mr. Fussy Pants to buy it. A pressure regulator does take uh, a little bit of time to, to work, though. Posture check. Yeah, I was, I was slouching. Ain't, ain't gonna lie about that. Thanks, Lifeless. One of my newest subs. Making, making sure I have a spine. I love it. Let's go upstairs. So, what are we at? 43. This will create four fern. Okay. Hey, Yoda. I will take four for and thank you. I thought it was going to be two. It was not. It was four. God, this pressure regulator is slow. Yeah, that's that's new. I, uh, I might be able to just sell the dude his ferns back. Um. Because <laughs> I'll be able to sell 12 ferns in one harvest cycle. I could do that. Let me um, save, because that was awesome, and try to harvest some iron, seeing if I can go outside and actually do stuff. Yeah, it would, I, if he buys his stuff back, I know he's a farming trader, so like, I might not get the best prices from him. Is there any reason why I shouldn't be able to exit the base right now? Is there any process going on that like, I die if I leave? Oh yeah, there's this gas process. Okay, yep. Glad I thought about that. How does this game compare to Empyrean? Um, that's a good question. I've played Empyrean. It's nothing like it. This game is... Um... Pure engineering of survival. Empyrean is like... Harvesting resources to build a ship. It's apples and oranges. This game is like 100%. Just temperature if it reaches 50. C, no fern. Got it. Please let me mine, man. I should have time, yeah. I don't think it's that tight. Oh, God. That is so discouraging. It's like I'm not even here. Am I a ghost baby? Keep summer safe? Yes! Yes! No, this looks good. I like... I like... Oh. Okay. We're good. Uh, if you hit exclamation mark about, actually, it will tell you a little bit about the... No, no, no. What's going on over here? So I think it's a matter of chunk. Some of the chunks are cursed. Some of the chunks aren't cursed. I don't know. I'll just mine out the uncursed chunks. OK. 
Okay, you're fake. Fake. Yeah, I could Devin. I could go Dev mode and Devin resources if it comes to it. I don't think anyone here would have a problem with it because it's like I'm trying to mine, just the game's not letting me. Some, I mean, it's letting me a little bit. But there's definitely some chunk rendering problem. Oh, boy. I might... You know, I think I'm set on... Oh, no. This time, it's my fault. I was set to flatten. But before, I was not set to flatten. But I'll take the blame for this. This is just me being stupid. Yay, I can mine again. I sort of had an inkling of a feeling after it was just like sometimes working, sometimes not. Uh, with all of this new, well, I, I do need to make a run of steel, which is gonna be a little tricky. Especially given that, like, oxygen is a very precious and non-renewable resource. Um, if I want to add a bunch of radiators. Or even if I want to add um, more uh, solar power panels. Yeah, I'm just happy it's fixed. Yeah. Absolutely. So if I, if this canister uh, trick does work, I definitely am gonna want a lot of uh, iron. Cause I'm gonna be making the canisters with iron. You filled it, fired up the game, 150 moles of CO2 sells for 450. That's not terrible. I think honestly my best bet is to sell plants back to him. That's probably gonna make me like mega bucks it just takes a it takes a few days right um but we'll see what his prices are at or the iron go But some things like some things that are made from uh, easy to to make resources, like the um, um, like the portable uh, solar power panels, those I can crank out easy peasy. Oh, my uh, yep, jetpacks are low. Whoa, I'm pressurized. Uh, work. Oh, no. No, I'm not. Wait, yeah? Why is there X? Whatever. Ferns can handle X at least. Hey, it's 35. It's cool. I mean, uh, obviously my power is doing poorly. Because I left the AC on all, all night. But it's, it's, it's temperate. Hey, 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 don't be dying. Don't be dying. Whatever's happening to you, Fern, stop it. Just stop it. That that little health bar you see up there is the indicator it's like unhealthy or whatever. No, wrong, bad. We do that outdoors. Yeah, my, it's hot enough to melt tungsten. I know. It's just like a bug of the, of the thing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump all this gas out now. Chunky chunk, chunk, chunk. Oh, I have the wrong belt on. Yoink. 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 Oh, 
Nothing like a good hopper, right? Cool. Belt off. Oh, what the heck? Did it just fart? Why? Why would it do that? I don't even know. No, the trigger's still there. No, when I when I when I latched this down, it just outgassed everywhere and farted on me. All the hot stuff that I was trying to remove to the point where now my base is like too hot and the ferns are gonna wilt. Actually, the ferns don't know it's hot yet up here. I guess it's just borderline. All right, come on, ferns. I got ferns to save. Yo, next time I outgas you, don't fart everywhere. You stupid thing. Come, come, oh my god, I can't even move. Come on. You are the worst air conditioner ever. I'm gonna return you to the Planet Express. Okay, so it's we're we're okay up here. I guess ferns are not as sensitive as they used to be. These ferns haven't even taken damage. They're not even unhealthy. I have been enjoying smashing up that thing, though. That brings me joy. Uh, the other thing is, we do have X in the air, so let's get the X out. Again, not really sure how that happened. Uh, but I have volatiles and pollutant filter on here, so it's going to pull the X out. Cool. <sighs> All right, it's 47 here and dropping. These ferns don't care at all. They're pretty hardy. I don't know. They must have changed ferns because... Did you turn it on, uh, the AC? Yeah. What else do I need to check up on? Those tanks are empty, so that means my nitrogen is basically empty. My AC is still on. I'm... I feel like I need to cut my AC, though. I am worried about my AC. It's still super cold, though. Nuh-uh. Stop doing the I'm threatening to blow up thing. So this is this is peak midday. It's uh, five. So it starts to creak when it's peak midday. It's actually one of the things that I might want to do eventually is uh, raise the pressure of this base up to maybe like 2, 120 or so. Uh, this intake pipe's empty, this intake pipe's empty, 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 it's all empty. Uh, this pipe here probably should be insulated, because this thing's hot. I wonder what the insulated pipes cost. Oh, and smelt. Uh, steel and silicon. Oh, that's steep. But it might help. With the heating issue of our base. Because that, that pipe is cooking hot. I just don't know... I don't know how they work. I've never used insulated pipes. Yep, these ferns are fine. hot up here, but the ferns don't seem to care. Are you guys sure that you have the right temperature tolerance for the ferns? Because they don't, they really don't seem to, uh, 
to be be a bother. Not that I don't trust you. But maybe the date is out of date. Honestly, I don't even really need insulated pipes because this whole... I don't need X the way I used to. I could just get rid of this entirely and sell the insulated pipes to the trader. Oh, no. Uh, I do need insulated pipes because this needs to outgas somewhere. I lied. things insulated now maybe that will stop radiating heat into my base I hope maybe the tolerance is based on the age of the fern I don't know these ferns really don't seem to mind the, the heat I mean it's 40 C up here and they're just like happy uh, need to paint it purple that's a fair point I wonder if you can... I wonder what that looks like. Oh, totally normal. Cool. Nice. Maybe they stop growing at 50 and then die at a higher temp. That could be. All I know is they're obviously, obviously growing. That is, without a doubt... And they're putting off some, you know, some uh, oxygen. So that's cool, too. I think all of the bad gases I've... Yeah, let's switch this. Yeah, I don't see any bad gases in the base anymore. It's not enough oxygen for me to take my helmet off, but, like, given time, we'll get there. Uh, what temp is it out now? I can't quite go outside, but let's see about this tank. Here's a tank of 99. Okay, it's almost perfect. Let's do one more tank to see if they sell. And while I'm staring at my iron, print up some more. Because this is another good way to just like extract CO2 from our system. Right? Because I'm putting it in here and selling it to a vendor. So here, I have a I have a good idea. I'm gonna really trick him. This is going to be a uh, sexy gas. Yep, we're gonna sell him sexy gas. I'm a little worried about browning out, as you can see. So part of this is just type. I've just charged a bunch of batteries too, didn't I? That doesn't help. At least ferns seem okay. I'm not... I don't trust that air conditioner not to fart when I um, try to unplug it though. I could save first to see what happens, but... That was, that was crummy. Straight up, that was crummy. The last time that happened. All right, it's becoming time to go outside. Oh, uh, well, sexy gas isn't ready, so let's just sell this one. Maybe move the output pipe for the AC emptier to the start of my Atmos system, so you don't outgas the little O2. Yeah, I should do that. Rename it Sexier Gas. Uh, why not just jump to Sexiest Gas? Sexiest Gas it is. 
Okay, I'll uh, I'll I'll move the that to the start of the filter once I'm done. I just want to see if this guy will buy my sexiest gas. Well, what else is there? Um. It was probably already smelting and I screwed that up. Save? Sure. Oh, God. I, now, I, I truly have 10 minutes left because I, I can't be a zombie tomorrow. I got YouTubes to do. Also, Sky, thanks for the gifted sub. I don't, I don't know if I, I thanked you there. I like how the KPA of my jetpack is changing based upon the external temperatures. And now because I'm outside, it's like, oh, it's too low. All right, you. You will spend a hundred bucks for my sexiest gas. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hundred bucks for five iron? That's pretty good. You're barely holding it together on the west coast? Yep. I appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out with me though. As I stumble my way through Venus atmosphere. Um, waste tank. What else can I? So the other thing I could sell. Let's do this. I know the portable solar generators sell for big bucks, and they're just very, very easy to make. I don't know why he buys them for it's pricey, but I'm okay with that. All right, let's stop. And sell. So, what crop should I buy first? Potatoes? Probably potatoes. And I shouldn't even be up to debate. I would need to... I would need to farm soy to make fries, though. So with potatoes, I could just make baked potatoes. But, yeah, potatoes are definitely the what I'll do. Yo, take it. Hey, Maz. Or Mar Marizin. I should call you by your right name. Alright, so, yep, that makes me money. And... Uh, one more of those and I can buy a potato. One step closer to space poutine. I like it. You can get fries. Yeah, I, he'll probably buy the ferns pretty good too, and that will allow me to unlock a lot of the other crops, I'd imagine. Some expensive potatoes? Well, on Venus, yeah. Actually, they're probably inexpensive on Venus. Uh, this thing is backwards. External will be one... One, five, internal will be, uh, 90. I programmed that backwards. Let's check up on the ferns. They're okay. It's a little warm up there, so I'm going to get the AC going. I'm a little worried about my power grid, but so far I haven't like really dipped. So I'll try to I'll try to sip power tomorrow. Speaking of sipping. Alright. 
Let's give him the other tank. Turn off the uh, pressure regulator. Pull in some more nitrogen, which I should have been doing all night long. And then print up one more of those portables. And a hydrate. Also, another thing I could turn off is the trader themselves. That would save me a lot of power. Is the ferns ready? No, not yet. I wish. They'll be ready tomorrow, midday or something. And then tomorrow night I'll be able to sell them. Come on. Come on. Where's the, so that's the can of 115, portable solar, and potato. Hi, Spud. Should I just eat it raw? <laughs> the most expensive dinner I've ever had in my life. Raw potato. That would be a, a tragically terrible idea. Hey, look at that. Oxygen. Yeah, if I waited around a little, it would have been air fried. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's get another, um, another basin for this. Yeah, my eyeballs would pop. Yep, true. Uh, hydroponic tray. I need iron for that. Well, my iron's in here. And now that I'm not trading with him, bloop, that saves me power. I'm a little worried that potatoes, and I'll save before I do it, I'm a little worried potatoes are a little bit more sensitive than ferns. So I'm not going to plant it just yet. Because the potatoes could be pickier. This can's fine. 500 kPa. Not even close to max. Alright, so before I plant the potatoes... Venus 8. Unfavorable lighting. It's the only complaint. I just need to make sure that I don't run out of power. Uh, power, right? Let's do power. If I have time. You all voted for this. Oh, God, I see the sun coming up. frame but whatever
Nope, sorry, too hot. Well, I have everything I need. I have everything I need for the new soul power panel. So at least there's that. Turn this off, because that could be really, really fatal. Call it or otherwise. Oh, yeah, that could be. I'm glad I called that when I did. No, I, 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 we're not, we're almost at the top of the hour. Um, let's just see about the ferns. It won't be a one more turn type of deal. I just want to see if this is, whoa, hello. Do I know when I'm going to stream this again? Probably... No, I guess I. Uh, the answer is I, d I don't. I don't know when. Oh, this is maxed out. Um, hey, ferns. Uh, so I'm just going to try to sell some ferns. That's the last thing I'm. The literally the last thing I'm going to do. Uh, so let's fix this. What kind of? No, no more of this. Did you guys hear air rushing? Hi, potato. Have a good night. All right, so. We'll put it here. Oh, good, good job, me. So, so I killed myself. Well, I didn't kill myself, but I definitely screwed things up big time. And that is going to be my sleep fatigue. I'm just going to have to pick this up when I pick this up. Uh, probably sometime early next week, because tomorrow is going to be Valheim, and then Saturday and Sunday are already spoken for. So, yeah. What progress we have made. I have no idea what the sell price of, um, you know, potatoes or ferns are going to be, but, but yeah, that was exciting. Thank you all so very much for watching. Episode 14 of Rodham Up Plays Stationer's Venus, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Keep it in mind that there's a lot of content yet to air of these streams. If you'd like to catch a live stream, Rodamot.com has all the information you need. Links, countdown timers, all that jazz. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you in an upcoming stream or another episode. Farewell.